Hi, my name is Kai Zhuang. I'm presenting a video abstract of the article The Design of Long-Term Effective Uranium Bowel Remediation Strategy Using a Community Metabolic Model. Uranium contamination is a serious problem across many sites in both North America and around the world. Uranium would seep through the topsoil and enter the aquifer as uranium-6. In the soluble form, uranium is carried by the groundwater towards the river stream and eventually contaminates the river stream. Microbial-mediated uranium immobilization is a novel strategy that takes advantage of the microorganism pre-existing within the aquifer such as Geobacter species. The addition of substrates such as acetate into the subsurface would stimulate the oxidation of acetate and the simultaneous reduction of iron-3 and uranium-6 by this microorganism. When uranium-6 is reduced to uranium-4, it is converted from a soluble form to a precipitate form, thus immobilizing it within the aquifer and preventing it from entering the river stream, thereby achieving the bowel remediation goal. It's important to recognize that within this setting, iron-3 is the primary electron acceptor for geobacter because it exists at a much higher concentration than uranium-6. In order to assess the viability of this strategy, a number of field-scale in situ experiments were performed at Rifle, Colorado. During these experiments, the abundance of geobacter species and the concentration of uranium were measured over time. During these experiments, it was found that bowel remediation is rather short-lived. Immediately after the addition of acetate, geobacter grows rapidly and soon dominates the microbial community. In response, the concentration of uranium-6 is reduced to a relatively low level. However, soon after, the growth of geobacter stops and the number of geobacter begins to decay. As a result, the reduction of uranium slows and eventually the concentration of uranium-6 returns to a relatively high level. It seems that in most cases, the reduction of uranium does not last past 50 days. Previously, it's been hypothesized that this is due to competition with sulfur-reducing bacteria. The idea is that sulfur-reducing bacteria, which also oxidizes acetate, is able to outcompete geobacter for the acetate, thus preventing the reduction of uranium by geobacter, leading to the termination of bowel remediation. Our objective is to develop an effective and long-lasting microbial-mediated bowel remediation strategy. Our approach is to first develop a community metabolic model of geobacter and sulfur-reducing bacteria, and then use this model to investigate the community metabolism during bowel remediation. Previously, we found that the addition of acetate strongly favors the fast-growing geobacter species. However, the continuous addition of acetate depletes the iron-3 in the subsurface, leading to the decay of geobacter, the dominance of sulfur-reducing bacteria, and the termination of the bowel remediation effect. Based on this insight, we propose that the simultaneous addition of acetate iron-3 may be a viable bowel remediation strategy. In order to demonstrate the viability of this strategy, we used our community metabolic model to simulate a number of scenarios in which both acetate and iron-3 were added to the subsurface. We are able to demonstrate that the addition of iron-3 to the subsurface indeed is able to restore and maintain the bowel remediation effect. Finally, using our computational model, we are able to optimize the addition of acetate and iron-3. In conclusion, our objective was to develop an effective and long-lasting microbial-mediated bowel remediation strategy. Based on our simulations, we propose that the simultaneous amendments of iron-3 and acetate may be such a viable strategy. We'd like to acknowledge our funding sources, the U.S. Department of Energy, Genome Canada, Insert Canada, Ontario Ministry of Research and Innovation, Canada Foundation for Innovation. Thank you very much.